Hey guys! Hi! We're here in Canton, North Carolina in the mountains for a little vacation with her family. My family. It took us a very long time to get out here. Uh, <laughs> almost six hours because of traffic and of like little stops we did. We stopped in a little uh, beer shop in Asheville to get some craft beer. And then we drove on some crazy windy mountains in the rain. And Alex, all the way here. Alex was not driving, but he still used his brake. It was very scary. Well, because my car is a, uh, it's just like a Honda Insight. It's a little hybrid car. It's lightweight, kind of slippery car, but. We made it. We made it here safe and sound. Let's see if I can auto focus so you can see the background. There you go. See how it's all misty and stuff? This was not supposed to happen today. It's supposed to be a nice weather, but that's what you get. So here we are in Canton, North Carolina, doing lots of activities this weekend. Enjoy the video. Down to Pool Bray, a Mexican restaurant. And what is my name? The only restaurant around here. They got a salsa bar. Ah, morning number one. We had to wake up nice and early this morning. It's 8 o'clock right now. Because uh, today we're going whitewater rafting. But first, we gotta go get some breakfast. Jukebox Junction Soda Shoppy, yeah! Ah, uh, so we just got done eating. Uh, it's actually very delicious food. They have good food up in the mountains. I am not that sad. Jukebox what? Junction. What'd you have to eat, Nick? I had to eat a what? chocolate pancake, but it wasn't really a pan... It wasn't really a chocolate pancake. It was like chocolate painted on a pancake. Chocolate painted on a pancake? Yep. That's what he had. So now we're off to whitewater rafting. Let's go. This road is so windy. We just got here and now we're just waiting in this little area. Uh, we gotta take a bus up to the area, then we'll wrap down. Can't bring my phone with no, me. You won't take a bus up. Oh. I'm you'll go ahead and get a raft kid. over here. Kid. And then you'll bus back. Maybe oh, yeah. what she yeah. said. And yeah, so I can't bring my phone with me obviously on the raft, so can't get any footage, but I'll tell you all about it once done. Uh, one or two fingers through the chin strip, okay? Do not make those two tides where you end up with a headache by the end of the trip. Hey guys. All right. Tell us anything. We got our gear. We got the oars. Learn how to hold them. We got our assignments on the raft. And now we we're about to get on the bus vest. to get going. All right. Right here. Stay right here. Wow. Well, that was fun. I wish I could have like had a camera or something to show you guys, but basically what happened is we took a bus ride up to this area. It's actually a uh, Duke Progress Energy, like a hydro plant that's on the on the river. And so we took a bus up there. We had a tour guide that did a little chance with us to teach us how to do things in certain situations. He kind of reminded me of like a, almost like a Bill Murray character, like out of Stripes or something, with those like little chants he did. It was funny, he was, he was good. And so once we got off the bus at our location, they uh, took the rafts off the top of the bus and put them into the water. We got on our in our assigned area on the on the raft, and then we just went forward. Um, on this river, there were a couple level threes and level four rapids, and then other than those few rapids, it was mostly you know like paddle yourself forward. But it was really enjoyable. And at one point, we went down this. We went. Uh, down this kind of like steep rapid where all those these little areas the boats were collecting and you could like look back. Oh, it's starting to rain. There's this one level four rapid that you went down and it was really steep. You like really went down and because me and Brendan were in the front, 
we took like the majority of the water in the face. But after we went through that, all the boats were kind of collected in this calm water area where we waited for all the rest of the people in our group to go down. And you could see a couple people, uh, fell, they fell out of the raft and they kind of floated down the river for a bit, but we got them back. And then at another point in the river, you could actually hop out of the boat and do like a little swim or bathroom break. So some people did that and we had to pull them back up in the boat. And then we just went on. The rapids were really, they're really fun. I'd do it again. Our tour guide was saying that there are a couple of level like five rapids down in South Carolina somewhere. So maybe we'll check out that sometime. Who knows? Who knows? But for now we're on the road heading to Sierra Nevada, their brewery, to get a tour. Should be fun. This place is really cool. Well, now we're waiting for a table to eat at the restaurant that's here. We just went through the gift shop and saw a lot of cool stuff here. So now we're just waiting to eat because it's almost 4 o'clock and we haven't really had lunch. We have a couple snacks, but nothing major, so we're hungry. Hey! We just finished eating at the brewery and it was good. Except that some of the food was not. Good. Now you do a vlog after I wasn't here. And um, we are now looking around a little park in the back. And if you look behind me, you can see the brewery itself. But you can see mostly of the restaurant part of it. And uh, those canisters that are right over there to the left of the camera view. They hold mounts and mounts of, of beer. So we're gonna be walking around, having some beers, and then going back to the cottage. And, uh, well, we're probably gonna go to a grocery store before we go to the cottage. So yeah, we're going down the trail. You're not a uh, and you well, won't be. We are here in the Sierra Nevada Gardens where they grow their own vegetables and stuff and their own spices. This is very cool. The whole entire facility is very green. So you take food and what would you do? Try to make it into a Lego shape? I would take that with my Legos out of my room. I think that park is a So we came down to the driving range hoping to hit some balls. But the pro shop is closed like at 7 30 at night. Don't hit fake balls with everything we work so we just went out. We got our own. <laughs>
Good Sunday morning. <laughs> we just got up and ate at Waffle House this morning. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> no, it was uh, probably the best Waffle House experience I've ever had. Uh, it was delicious. It looked nice. Not everything was sticky, just a couple things. Um, we were going to go back to the place we had yesterday for breakfast. Which but, was really good. Which was awesome as well, but because it's Sunday morning, they were not open. They're just opening now. Yeah. So we went to Waffle House, but it was really good. And now we are on our way to caving, which should be very interesting. Again, I don't think I'll be able to bring my phone in. One, because it's dark, and two, we're supposed to get a little wet, like yeah. move, move through some waters. Yeah. But once again, I'll tell you how it goes for sure. Oh, you got me burping on that. I didn't know you were showing me. It's all right, people burp. Burping's a thing. <sighs> That's so cool. Here we go, caving. Caving was really, really awesome. Basically, we went underground and we went a mile in the cave. We went through like tunnels and had to crawl on our knees and do some like army crawling at one point. In one room, there was like this big lake with really clear bluish water that was 30 feet deep that we had to take a little raft across. And at the very end point of the cave where we couldn't go any further we all turned off our headlamps and experienced pitch darkness you couldn't see your hand in front of your face um, so yeah that whole experience was really really awesome and then after that we drove up to a city in Tennessee Johnson Johnson City and had lunch at this local place that was pretty good Cootie Browns. Cootie Browns. If you're in Johnson, Johnson City, Tennessee, you should try it out. But that's about it. Uh, Alex is finally driving. I drove 500 miles. Yeah, it's my first time driving the entire trip. <laughs> it's not so fun. <laughs> but we're on our way home now. We had, we had a really fun trip. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and like it if you, if you want. And we'll see you guys next time.